to the channel everyone if you're new I'm Megan Remedy holistic nutritionist in today's video we are going to be talking about menstruation um, the female reproductive cycle we're going to be talking about a lot of the misconceptions in the vegan community or the natural holistic health community that periods are toxicity leaving the body that it's normal for your period to go down to a day and be hardly bleeding. We are going to be talking about um, the purpose of the period, the purpose of bleeding each month, and um, how hormones are made in the body, how the master hormone is made, and how excess hormones are detoxed from the body. So if you're interested in those topics, stay tuned. A quick YouTube Google search, you'll see all the videos that vegans and non-vegans have made. First, European doctrine was written off European women. Their philosophy when it came to the menstrual cycle was written off the European woman, not the African. Their ancestors were not running around. They were not running around bleeding all over the place. No, why? Because they ate natural foods. You're at the God state. The reason why women have periods or menstrual cycles is because they went against God. Your ancestors didn't bleed into the European, brought their European diets. Your ancestors did not bleed until you started eating meats. You didn't start bleeding until they started eating hybrid. They got so far off their diet, they lost. Your body's trying to release toxins out your body. That's why you bleed. Eat what's natural. Well, if we eat what's natural, and then and then it might stop a little bit or it might lighten up. It will lighten up. Then it will probably last for one, two days. Then it will eventually it will disappear. Should be only drops of blood. Should not be a hemorrhaging of blood. Should technically only be like three to four drops of blood. As I cleaned out my diet further, I noticed that the cleaner my lifestyle is, and by lifestyle I mean the cleaner my diet is, diet is, then the shorter and less painful my period is. So where are we now? At four years into the raw vegan fruitarian lifestyle, my period is only a day and a half maybe two days long so almost nothing i would actually say a day and a half at the end of the first day it's about a third full so that's the whole period of the first day right just a third here and the second day of the period because it's about a day and a half long right is even less than a third right so we're actually talking about more like spotting than like heavy periods and I'm super happy about this. So the less waste you put in your body, the less of a period you're gonna have. I've personally met several girls who have lost their period for many months and sometimes over a year on the raw vegan fruitarian diet. So hormones can be very complex. You can have excessive PMS, which is not normal, very painful, heavy periods, and you can also have the opposite end of the spectrum where you are losing your period, your menstruation and female reproductive system is shutting down um, due to malnutrition or other reasons. So we're going to look at amenorrhea. That's where we're going to start the video and I'm going to read off the definition for you guys. So amenorrhea is the absence of menstruation, one or more missed menstrual periods. Women who have missed at least three menstrual periods in a row have amenorrhea, as do girls who haven't begun menstruation by age 15. The most common cause of amenorrhea is pregnancy. Obviously, because when you're pregnant, you do not need to build up a lining in the uterus to um, give nutrients to a baby. So this is interesting that it says um, girls who haven't begun their menstruation by age of 15 have amenorrhea because I recall watching a video by Nina and Randa where they said that they did not get their period until they were 17 which is definitely concerning so 
just by that little um, piece of information we can see that even if you are raised vegan you are still at a disadvantage your um, reproductive system is either taking longer to develop and mature or you're not getting the um, enough nutrients for your menstrual cycle to start when it is biologically um, appropriate okay, so two things having severe PMS is not normal that's also a hormonal imbalance but losing your period as well is not normal whatsoever even if your period goes down to one day and it's very light that is still losing your period um, that's what happened to me when I was on a vegan diet my period went down to almost non-existent um, the opposite thing happened for my best friend her period actually got very bad and heavy and um, she got extreme PMS so I just want to make it clear that there's two opposite ends of the spectrum here. Times in your life where it's natural to have amenorrhea are during pregnancy, breastfeeding, and menopause. Um, so different medications can cause amenorrhea. Um, and I'm not going to go too much into this in this video. That's just something to keep in mind. And also lifestyle factors, so low body weights excessive exercise, stress, hormonal imbalance like polycystic ovarian syndrome, thyroid malfunction, pituitary tumors, premature menopause which can be induced um, from several of these factors. Also structural problems like uterine scarring, lack of reproductive organs, and structural abnormalities of the vagina. But that's not what we are talking about in this video. In this video, we are talking about amenorrhea induced by an insufficient diet and people thinking that this is normal and healthy. The purpose of the lining of the uterus, this blood that is being shed during menstruation, the purpose of this lining is so that an egg can implant itself in the uterus and have nutrients to grow so this lining is nutrient rich blood that turns into the placenta this is the point of a period so when the egg is not fertilized this blood will then be shed if the woman becomes pregnant this lining then turns into the placenta so this logic saying that it's toxicity leaving the body and women are not supposed to menstruate is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know where this pseudoscience comes from. I know that there's a lot of holistic doctors or holistic prophets out there pushing this information, um, publicizing books about this ridiculous information, but it is definitely false. So it's not as simple as just increasing your fat intake. When I was vegan, I definitely tried everything. I tried increasing my fat intake and it still didn't work. My periods got shorter and shorter and shorter and my reproductive system was shutting down. So if your periods are getting shorter and the amount of blood that you are discharging is getting smaller and smaller, this is definitely a warning sign that your reproductive system is shutting down. So a lot of the times when women are losing their periods, they get their hormones changed and often their FSH follicle stimulating hormone is extremely low at premenopausal levels. So this is an indication that you are making yourself infertile by not having a healthy reproductive system functioning. So a period is not your body flushing out waste. Um, of course, if your blood is toxic, if you're toxic, then obviously the lining of your uterus is going to be just as toxic as the rest of your body. But blood itself, having a period, is not toxicity leaving the body. So as far as the body having excess hormones, like excess estrogen, known as estrogen dominance, the liver will detox excess hormones. It is not detoxed through menstruation.
And I also wanted to show you guys this chart of how hormones are made. So all hormones start from cholesterol and the master hormone is pregnolone. Now, it's up for debate whether the body can make enough cholesterol for ho hormone production. And as I've seen in um, clients, myself, in clinical practice, not everyone can make enough cholesterol to have a healthy hormonal balance in their body. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think it would help someone, then consider sharing it. And let me know in the comments what you think about the content. If you would like to support me, there's three different ways. One of those ways is you can book a consultation on my website. Number two is you can order any supplements you need through my dispensary link down below. And number three is I have a Patreon and that link will also be in the description. So I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.